So I've always been a touchy kind of person. Anything I'd see, I would touch, or at least want to touch. That was until I saw this horrifying image on the internet some years ago. I did some digging and found out the image was actually fake. And that's just a species of water bug and a digitally altered foot. Now, although that image was fake, it did get me thinking. Should I really keep on touching everything I see? This sounded like a deep philosophical question to me. So I decided to do some research and my research bore fruit. So today I'm going to give you a list of things you really should not touch. Now, the first thing on my no touch list is actually a scorpion. Being a lover of all things touchable, I've already picked up scorpions before, but I had crushed them and they were already dead, so it doesn't count. Anyway, although touching scorpions in general is ill-advised, the scorpion I'm talking about is this one. It's called the Red Indian Scorpion. Dubbed the most venomous scorpion on Earth by National Geographic, the Red Indian Scorpion, also known as Hottentata Tamilus, is a real no-go area. Found in most of India, eastern Pakistan, the eastern lowlands of Nepal and Sri Lanka, the red Indian scorpion is only about 50 to 90 millimeters long. That's like 5 to 9 centimeters. If stung by one of these things, symptoms will include pain, vomiting, sweating, priapism, cyanosis, breathlessness, hyper or hypotension. Victims may also develop a pulmonary edema, a condition when fluid builds up in your lungs, making it difficult to breathe. And as my mother says, difficulty breathing leads to difficulty living. The second entry on my no-touch list is the blue-ringed octopus. This small 10-centimeter kraken-like creature is actually quite pretty. The blue-ringed octopus features blue glowing rings all around its body, making it quite the touchable something. Unfortunately, this, this mini kraken is quite poisonous. Its neurotoxic venom, tetrodotoxin, is around 1,000 times more lethal than cyanide. Its venom causes some sort of muscle paralysis that, when injected into its victim's bloodstream, stops the heart from working, which eventually stops the victim from working. So it's something I will probably not touch. The third entry on my no-touch list is another pretty creature called the Portuguese Man o' War. Now, from what little research I did, I actually found out that this creature is a colonial organism made up of many smaller units called zooids. Although all the zooids that make up one man of war look quite different, they are all genetically identical. The various types of zooids fulfill specialized functions such as hunting, digestion, and reproduction. Together, they allow the colony to operate as a single individual. Now, the reason it's on my no-touch list is because this thing is quite deadly. It has the ability to deliver powerful stings that can take out fish and, in some cases, people. Even if it doesn't kill you, it will still hurt a lot and you'd probably be sent to the ER. Also, its tentacles can grow up to 165 feet in length. Now, for the fourth entry on my list, I'd like to ask, is it a bird? Is it a cone? Is it a snail? No, it's a cone snail. Well, that was quite cringe. Anyway, the fourth entry on my list, while not as pretty, is quite touchable as well. The cone snail is a sea snail of sorts, but unlike other snails, it has a harpoon-like something which it uses to hunt its prey. The venom of these things is quite complex and lethal. It's so complex, in fact, that a drug called ziconotide, a pain reliever 1,000 times as powerful as morphine, was initially isolated from the magician cone snail, Conus magus. On another note, a species of the cone snail called the geography cone, or conus geographus, is jokingly referred to as the cigarette snail. Why? Well, if bitten, you'll have only enough time to smoke a cigarette before dying. The fifth and final entry for this video is actually a more conspicuous creature. Uh, this is the stonefish, and you probably didn't notice it. Stonefish are ambush predators that lay in wait for unsuspecting prey. They have a rough, warty exterior that allows them to blend into the seabed. Their coloration makes them nearly invisible to predators and prey. They are also the most venomous fish on planet Earth. The venom from spines in their dorsal fins is capable of causing extreme pain, swelling, tissue death, and everything death. This actually doesn't matter to me because it's not even pretty. I mean, who would even want to touch that? Anyway, that's all I've got for today, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, and maybe even drop a comment. Also, for anyone who's curious, I'll still touch things, just with thick leather gloves.